Hey everyone, welcome back to Treehouse Garden. It's Kimberly here. As you can tell, I'm not in my normal setting in the garden. I'm out running errands, and one important thing on my list to do today was to stop by one of my favorite nurseries, Green Acres, to pick up some seeds to start planning my fall and winter garden. Even though it's super hot outside and it's at the end of July, it's time to start thinking about what you want to start by seed, what you want to put in the ground, and what you're going to be growing this fall and winter. So let's go check out the selection and see what I'm buying today. It's a little confusing for first time gardeners sometimes because a lot of the nurseries have seeds out for winter and for summer. I want to encourage you looking at the supply that was here at this store to order your seeds early and not to wait. So get your seed purchases in soon to make sure you have what you need for your fall and winter garden. I decided to venture outside and see what veggies they had left, which was slim pickings. It was one little section and the other half of this um, section was all herbs, which are super easy to grow from seed, so don't do it. I grabbed a couple lemon cucumbers to replace some squash I pulled out that got heat stroke. Hey everyone, I'm back from shopping and I didn't melt in this crazy heat. I wanted to share with you some of the seeds that I purchased. I do like to try new unique varieties um, every grow season and I did purchase some seeds already from Baker Creek. I do like to visit their store in Petaluma on the way to one of my favorite places, Bodega Bay. Um, and I ordered a bunch of seeds online and I'll share those with you at another time. But what I'm gonna share with you today are the basic staples for a fall winter garden. And you really need to start thinking about what you plant um, soon because maybe you want to start the seeds um, next month to get your plants big enough to go in the ground when it cools off or just have your seeds available to direct sow in the garden. So let's look at what I got. So the first thing that I purchased was spinach. Spinach is a good crop to grow in cool weather. I just sprinkle the seeds on the ground, direct sow these in the ground and put a light soil on top. Um, next up, you know I love my arugula. My friend Steve likes to have arugula like on every meal practically. Hi Steve, hope you're watching. Anyway, uh, arugula is also something super easy to direct sow right in the ground. Get your soil wet, sprinkle on your seeds, put on a light soil and water it in. Next up is lettuce. It's kind of ironic that we crave lettuce during the summer months, but lettuce actually grows the best in cold weather. So this one is bib lettuce and I will start these in seed in the greenhouse and then plant them. Next up is uh, cabbage. This one's called Chinese cabbage. Again, this one I will start in the greenhouse and I will get the plant big and put it in the garden. And then lastly is butter crunch. Same thing with this one. With the lettuces, you can direct sow them, but I like to space them appropriately and not have to uh, pull out the little baby seedlings to correct the spacing. So. Those I'm gonna do in the greenhouse and then I'll plant them when it gets cooler. What garden wouldn't be complete without your broccoli? Now there are a lot of different varieties of broccoli. Broccolini, broccoli rob, um, purple broccoli. So investigate, I just went again, um, those, those unique varieties, you're gonna have to find them online. Baker Creek, for example, or Johnny Seeds. Um, seed savers, those are some of my favorite places to use. Um, they have lots of varieties. This is just a straight shooter green broccoli. Next up is, of course, snowball cauliflower. Again, there's lots of varieties of cauliflower, purple cauliflower, cheddar cauliflower. This is just your basic white cauliflower and it's pretty darn easy to grow. Make sure you fertilize a lot. They like lots of water, lots of fertilizer. And then lastly, which I have had zero success with, Brussels sprouts. I am determined to get Brussels sprouts this year. I did attend a Master Gardener workshop recently that stressed the importance of getting your Brussels sprouts in the ground in September and they should be ready to harvest by Thanksgiving. So that is my goal for this year. All of these may be direct sowed in the garden and then you'll just thin them out. Um, I think I'm a little bit of a control freak, so I start these seeds in my greenhouse, one seed per little cell so that I can manage them and plant them appropriately space-wise. But again, if you wanna go the easy route, put them in the ground, pluck out the ones you don't want and move on from there. 
Okay, I should clarify because not everyone has a greenhouse like me. Um, when you start your seeds, if you want to start them in sale packets and control the actual grow process, then you definitely can put them in a sunny windowsill, in your washroom where it's nice and warm with some fluorescent lighting. So I don't want to detour you from starting seeds if you um, do not have a greenhouse. You can also go to Walmart and buy one of those fluorescent little lights and set up a little seed station. So I'm going to stop saying greenhouse. Just that's my brain thinks that because I have two greenhouses, but not everybody does. And I want you to try all these cool varieties. So next up, we've got peas. Peas love to grow in the winter. So I have my sugar daddy snap peas. These are super easy to grow. I direct sow them right in the ground, get my soil moist, put my seeds, um, the seeds spaced the way I want them. I usually grow them up my tomato trellises after I've ripped my tomatoes out. And uh, these are super duper easy to grow. They like to vine. Also is the snow pea. This is also an easy one to direct sow. And again, I grow these up my tomato uh, trellises that I grow on cattle panels. You could grow these up um, tomato cages. You can grow them up arbors. They do like to vine and go upwards, just so you know. And then we have, of course, peas. I had such a great pea um, harvest last winter that I have bags upon bags upon bags of seeds in my peas, not seeds, peas in my freezer. They are super easy to grow. Um, they're fun. They do take a lot of work to harvest. So you want to sit and find a good movie and just sit there and harvest and shell your peas for hours on end. All right. All right. The last thing that I want to encourage you to try for a fall and winter garden are those veggies that grow underneath the ground. So your carrots, your rutabagas, your parsnips, things like that. So there's lots of varieties, radishes, beets. So um, think about what you would like to try. I've always had really good success at growing, for example, rutabagas and they're beautiful and they're purple and white and they're gorgeous. And then I go, what am I gonna do with these? So I do like to stretch myself and grow things that I don't normally cook with to learn new recipes and new things to do. But if you are limited on space, when you're picking things that grow underground, make sure you pick things that you enjoy eating. And when you are planting things like beets and carrots, you wanna make sure that your soil is nice and loose. They don't like to grow in impacted soil. It needs to be nice so you can just gently pull them out without breaking off the carrot stem. So, all right guys, so well, that's it for me today at Treehouse Garden. I hope I've inspired you to start thinking about doing a fall slash winter garden. It is the time to start thinking about it. As I mentioned earlier, I strongly urge you to start buying your seeds now with the supply chain, with everything going on in the world right now, seeds might become scarce again like they did during the pandemic. So think about what you wanna grow, start getting in those online orders, visit Green Acres, visit Isley's, visit Home Depot, Tractor Supply, all those great places where you normally buy your seeds and get thinking and planning so you can have a wonderful fall winter garden. Thanks for joining me today and don't forget to seed the day.